Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have another project to share. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who purchased the Simply Pesto uh, collection uh, as it went on clearance at Michael's. I, had, I picked up the paper pad not too long ago for a couple of dollars and over the past few weeks I've picked up all the embellishments as they've gone on clearance. So. Um, I had it all out the other day and I didn't want to put it away without using it. So I created a mini album and the idea was that I wanted to create a quick album because I had all of all of the matching pieces, you know, all the embellishments and everything else in front of me. So I didn't I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it. I mean, I wanted it to come out nice and cute and this and that. But, you know, I didn't want it to be one of those heavy duty projects, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I did. I created a mini album. I started it last night. I finished it this morning and I think it came out cute. And it makes such a difference when you do have, you know, all the all the coordinating, you know, pieces. I'm not I'm not totally bananas about this paper collection, but um but when it all comes together, it it, it just it's cute. <laughs> so anyway, um so that's what I did. My, I created an album using this size envelopes uh, from Recollections and the envelopes measure I believe five and a half by four and a quarter after they've been trimmed down for hinges and everything. So um, that's the size of my pages. I used, like I said, the Simply Pastel collection by Recollections that's been on clearance. Um, and I used quite a few of the embellishments, although not everything. I mean, I, I have some of the sprays, but I didn't use any of the sprays. Um, I did use one of the chipboard Polaroids in the album. I didn't use any of the flare. I should have pulled that out, but I didn't. I used several of the chipboard pieces. Now, I don't know, maybe it's me, but this chipboard, the chipboard that goes to this collection doesn't to me, it doesn't like really match, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Anyway, I did use several pieces of the chipboard. I didn't use any of the bottle caps, so I have quite a bit. I mean, I can make two more mini albums, at least. I did use one of these big flowers, and I do love these flowers. Really sweet. I used the gray one. Um, I did use one of the little trinkets. And I did use a few of these tags, these pre-cut um, tags that match the collection. I also used some of these, uh, the DCWV uh, pastels paper that's on clearance right now at Joanne for 97 cents. Such an excellent deal. The paper is double-sided. I mean, it's, I mean, just uh, such a deal for this paper pad. Uh, and then I, I also used my Jenny Bolin punch um, to make pull tabs for some of my inserts. And I didn't bring them all out, but I did use some of the sprays that match the collection. And um, these, the sprays that match this collection are beautiful. They spray beautifully and they look beautiful, but they stink so bad when you go to dry them. <laughs> Just an observation. <laughs> So here's the um, album, and I think it came out really cute. I mean, considering I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, and it came together quick, you know. But um, I think it came out really sweet. The cover measures the cover measures about four and three quarters by six. So, and I used the um, Laura Dennison Stack the Deck method to bind it. So, um, for the binding here, this is a specialty paper that I had picked up at Joann's at one time or another. And I don't know if you can tell, but those are all beads. It's like beads on handmade paper. It's really, it's really sweet. Um, yeah, and it, it, it didn't fall apart or anything when I went to use it. So I thought that was... I thought that was great. So I used that for the for the binding. Um, whoops, a pearl came off. Um, this, this lace here and this lace here is some of that, um, you know, from the dollar spot at Michael's. You know, it's the adhesive lace 
that they had to have that they have had in the past. Um, over here for the binding, I had punched a hole in, with my crop a doll and I put in a, a white eyelet and then I just tied some different colors, seam binding. Sorry, I'm kind of clumsy as I show this, huh? Uh, and I just tied some seam binding and there's some lace. There's a little, um, some twill ribbon from um, Melissa Francis. I used the, the trinket from the collection there. Really sweet. I just tied, you know, tied it to the Melissa Francis um, ribbon. And um, this is just an assortment of knots and bows here, and I just thought it looked really cute. And then for the cover, I, I um, used some of the pastel paper. This uh, yellow bird cage here is a die cut from a spellbinder die that I have. Um, so I knew I wanted to use that. Um, let's see, I, I layered a doily and the chipboard word that says family. This is the flower from the collection. It's really, I really love this flower. I added some of the chipboard flowers here and I put another of the, one of the chipboard flowers here, um, the gray one, just to coordinate with that flower. Um, all the other flowers here are recollections except for these um, flowers here are I Am Roses. And I added some recollections bling. I did go over uh, spots with gesso just to give it a washed shabby um, feel to it. So that's the cover. And for the, for the inside I just created a pocket. I uh, used the chipboard piece here, and this is a Recollections flower, and I went over both. I just kind of stippled gesso, uh, dry gesso on there to give it that shabby look. Um, this is a little bling piece from, I believe, Recollections. I added a couple of the tags from the collection, and I just tied some seam binding to them. And then this is just a, um, a cut apart from the collection. I didn't do any stamping or distressing. Um, I just, you know, easy peasy. This is some more of that adhesive ribbon from the, you know, dollar fifty spot at Michael's there. Then all of the all of my photo mats, I used this spellbinder die for all of the photo mats. Some of them I inked and distressed a little bit for the colors to coordinate, but not all of them. So um, so for this one, I, I just added these Michael's flowers. I added a little bit of dried gesso. I mean, I dry brushed some gesso there. Um, another little bling piece. There's a little bit of cheesecloth, and this is a crochet fl crocheted flower from Michael's um, from the $1.50 spot as well. And then a photo mat on the inside and I, I used the Jenny Bowen punch and, and just punched it twice so that I would get that finished look on both sides. So there's that. And then the next page, all of these um, you know pages or photo mats can fit a wallet size photo. You know really really um, nicely. So anyway, this is the next page and I this is another um, die cut. I used the MFT um, Eiffel Tower die to cut that out out of the blue pastel paper. I added a Michael's Recollections flower and some pearl bling. It's a chipboard piece um, from the collection. I just layered a couple of them with uh, another pearl bling. And I added this little piece as a, a journaling spot. And then the next page is this. I added some of this lace from Joann's here. This chipboard butterfly is from the collection along with this flower. And I, I stippled on some gesso just to um, mute and shabby the colors up a little bit. Um, I added these, um, what do you call these? Um, Sorry, but these are from Recollections. I, I just drew a blank what you call these, but the, like candy dots or whatever. I added those and another little P 
piece for journaling. And then the inside tag is just simply this. Every page will have like some of the per that pearls or um, you know some kind of rhinestone bling on it just to you know bring it all together. But this is a Recollections purple uh, lavender flower sitting on some cheesecloth. Some more Recollections flowers here, along with the little um, lavender. Um, I want to call them sugar dots, but I'm uh, enamel dots. That's what they are, enamel dots. Then for the next page, um, this is this window is a die, a spellbinder's die that Elizabeth Beady Bam Bam had given to me a while ago, and I just love this window. It's so fancy. So I set it up on, I had sprayed it with the spray from the collection, and I put it up on pop dots so that it created like a kind of a um, pocket, but it won't interfere too much with, you know, if you put a photo in there. So I thought that was cute. And then just a couple of pieces from the collection. So I thought that looked really sweet. And then another little insert. And then the next page is this. And I added some um, lace trim from Joann's. These are all Recollections flowers. Um, I added some gesso to mute the colors a little bit, make it shabby. I distressed this frame um, with some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. So bling from Recollections with some more of the enamel dots. And then the next page, I used a Spellbinder die to create this dress here. I believe Lydia had given me this die, and I just I love this set of the dress forms. Really cute. And I added um, a Recollections flower, some pearl. Pearl bling, some more pearl up here, and this is the insert for that page. So a nice size photo can go, you know, on the inserts, and then there's the journaling spot. Just easy peasy. And then for this page, I used a chipboard, one of the chipboard elements, along with a crocheted flower from Michaels. Um, I, I added some of the enamel dots, which they really, the colors went perfectly with the colors in this collection, so that was nice. And then some more Recollections flowers that I sprayed with the spray from the collection. And, and then a journaling spot goes there. And then for this, this is where I put the, a little Polaroid. And this is, it comes with these little um, acetate pieces, I guess, so that you could um, use it as a template. But um, there's the little Polaroid chipboard frame, a little gray flower, crochet gray flower from Michaels, a few pearls, and the insert for this here. Just really sweet. So pictures or pictures and journaling can go on there. And then the next page is this. And I just added some more of the enamel dots. I layered a chipboard piece with one of the crochet flowers from Michaels. I added a little bit of gesso, a um, little pearl. And the next, this next page, um, this is an MFT die with the bird cage and the little bird. And I sprayed them both. This is with the green spray, and this was with the pink spray, obviously. But And I put the bird up on pop dots and added a little bit of gesso. I think. It came out so, so cute. So, and then a little bit of lace with a crochet flower from Michaels. So I thought that was really sweet. And, um, you know, a picture will look really cute on there with the bird cage peeking out. And this is the insert. Just really sweet. Really quick, I mean. And then, um, for this one, I didn't even distress the photo map, but I added a little bit of cheesecloth, another flower from Recollections, um, a little bit of pearls there, another Eiffel Tower cutout from the pastel paper, and a crochet flower from Michaels. Just really sweet. And then the inside back cover, I have a couple of more tags, but this time I used some of this twine from um, Target. 
instead of seam binding. I just thought it, I, get, I thought it gave a cute touch. And then um, another cut apart from the collection. And then I used the uh, Martha Stewart punch to get this edge here. And I layered some of the um, lace from Joann's with this Melissa Francis pom-pom fringe, pom-pom uh, trim. And then this is a chipboard heart from the collection and some Recollections bling. So I thought it came out really cute. There's the back. And it, and it came together really quick. So I was really, I was really pleased with it. So um, yes, I know we all bought the Simply Pastel papers and, and embellishments when it went on clearance. So break it out. And um, because if you like me, you're going to put it away and then you won't look at it again until you're ready to just stash it. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.